Good luck against El Mago Jr. in Mexico. I hope you beat him. That's the plan. I've been meaning to ask, why didn't you want to go? Yeah, um, just wasn't feeling it. It would have been a chance for you to compete in your home country. And you're probably a fan of El Mago, right? I was, but he wasn't a fan of me. That's all I can really say. Just go get the win over Mago Jr. Okay.
The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Detroit, Michigan. Weighing in at 248 pounds, the bad guy. He's done a good job of adjusting from pro football to competing on his own in the ring. Pro football is such a team sport, but... Representing the Hart Foundation from Calgary, Alberta, Canada, weighing in. And here we have a superstar who's been grinding his teeth at the Performance Center as of late. Yeah, a consistent work ethic is what you're talking about, Michael. He's not someone who will rest on his laurels. He never has been, and that dedication is what puts him in position to win tonight. We've got Canada's favorite son on the other side. There's no question Hart's an elite strategist, but will the hitman be able to carry out his plan as he devised it? Or is he going to have to make adjustments during the course of the match? I seriously doubt Brett is having any feelings of distress, Corey. Hart is so versatile that calling an audible is second nature to him. Look at this. Ah. Pendulum backbreaker. Tick tock. Nice takedown. Hart just can't stop this attack. The hitman is showing some vulnerabilities in his game. Big overhand. Quick reaction to Hart there. Standing drop kick. Great ups. Waist lock, no, no, belly to belly. My goodness. Hart takes a blow and he had to know this thing could turn into a shootout. If he can hold the line here, he'll be in a good position. Look at this. <gasps> Pendulum backbreaker. Tick, cover. And easily kicks out of the count. At this point of the match, I'm not surprised. Clutch suplex, perfect. Big knee to the midsection. Hart gets out of there. Pulling him in for the ball. Right to the lower back. Nice takedown. Hart is being stifled in this one. Rare to see the hitman baffled like this. Uh-oh. Half and half suplex. Lights up. He is just reeling from that offense. At this stage of the match, they are clearly starting to feel the effects of this back and forth. As the leg trap. The power on display right now is ridiculous. He steers clear of contact. Pulling him in for the ball breaker. Right to the lower back. And now he's dictating the pace. Yeah, he's firing on all cylinders. Hart wasting no motion on the counter. Suplex. His eyes are fixated. He's looking to end this. This superstar building incredible momentum. Oh, I mean, this is, I don't know how the superstar is doing it. Down and out, moments ago. Back in it now. Steady drop kick. Great ups. Hits to the corner like that will render you useless. He's absorbed some damage already. Trouble 
something for Hitman. One, two, three. An exhausting victory, but a win nonetheless. Here is your winner, the bad guy. An important victory for him in this match. Well, it looks like Brett's opponent was even better than the best there ever will be. <laughs> Here is your winner, the bad guy.
The following contest is a handicap match. Making his way to the ring from Detroit, Michigan. Weighing in at 248 pounds. advantage for the duration of that match. I don't care who you are. This is not a good situation. The team with the numbers advantage can take their time and be methodical in punishing their opponent. That's true, but let's not forget having the odds in your favor doesn't always guarantee victory. Some relish the underdog role. Sharp elbows to the body looking to fight his way out. We are European uppercut. The Rock hoping to head this attack off at the pass. And The Rock is being dominated here. Cut with a clothesline. Hoist it up. Into the snap. Suplex. Drop kick. Oh, foot just stomping down. Double underhook applied. Butterfly suplex. Yeah. Suplex brings him down. He's looking a little off balance. Looks like the heightened action of this handicap match has caught up with him a little. Nice takedown. Drops the hammer right on the lower back. Take down there. Discouraging situation for the people's champion. An unfamiliar spot for the great one. Double underhook applied. Butterfly suplex. As the leg trap, Fisherman Suplex. Just another insane display of power. And it's The Rock with the reversal. Bottom and elbow. Steve Austin and up the tag. He is rubbing up the engine. He's not going to let anything stop him. Tagged in. to the core, keep coming. Ooh! He may get the three count right here! I think so! One, two, yeah, oh. no, he didn't get the three. So, so close. That could have been it. Look at this. Oh, and a backbreaker! Right to the spine. Nice takedown. Reversal. Can they go on the attack? Right to the kidneys from behind. And Rock gets reversed. Standing drop kick. Great up. must be mounting on the torso to this point. Every hit more detrimental than the last. Look at this. Boom. Nice. We're undoubtedly nearing the end. And he has just taken an extraordinary amount of abuse. Yeah, the royal bull has been taken by the horn. I wish someone would put you out the pasture. Yeah. Got it cinched in. This could be it. Oh, oh, 
package driver. Trap in the arm. Crossface submission is in. Rock is done. His partner's got to be thankful for that. What a save. State of distress now. Looking to end it here. This could be it. One, two, three. And there's the win. Huge win here tonight. Here is your winner, the bad guy. And the celebration's underway. Love them or hate them, you know they did everything they could to earn this win. I was in a bit of a philosophical mood last night, and I started to wonder, if you never have a chance to use your finishing move, is it still a finisher? Or is it just a regular old move? What are you getting at? I guess I was thinking about how dominating my finisher is going to be in the WWE, but you guys are probably never even going to get to use yours, which is kind of sad. Total waste of some perfectly good finishing moves. I don't think you have to worry about that since I guarantee I could hit my finisher on you today. Really? Okay, well, how about we have a little fatal four-way finisher match? First one to hit theirs, wins. Deal. I look forward to showing you that my finishing move is not gonna go to waste.
Hey, rookie. You have a passport or no? Uh, yeah. Turns out I have to go back to Japan to finish out one more match of my contract there. WWE thinks a Japanese opponent might try to injure me for leaving, so unfortunately, I have to face one of you guys. But whatever. At least it will be an easy win. So do you want to make the trip or no? Seems like a waste of time to travel all that way to beat you when I can just do it here. Only an idiot would turn down an opportunity like this. Hey, we have some good news. You're not going to have to deal with us much longer. Well, maybe if everything works out. What do you mean? Triple H feels like he's seen enough from you and the rest of the class. So it's time for an official evaluation. Is this the PC showcase you mentioned back on my first day? Exactly. All of the GMs will be here to see you guys in action. If you impress any of them enough, you might receive a contract offer. Thanks for helping me get to this point. I won't let you down. You put in the hard work and earned this opportunity. Now it's time to deliver and reap the benefits. I'll be ready. We should also mention that each GM is going to be accompanied by a superstar from their brand to help evaluate you guys. And by evaluate, we mean you're gonna face one of the visiting superstars. We already know how you do against the other guys here. So we wanted to give you a new challenge. That all sounds good to me. So, who will I face? Well, the options are Oni Lorcan from NXT, Shinsuke Nakamura from SmackDown, or the toughest challenge out of the three, Drew McIntyre from Raw. Keep in mind, there's no wrong choice. But being a tougher opponent would be more impressive to the GMs, and potentially open more doors. But if you lost, risk might not be worth it. So, now that you've had 10 seconds to consider this life-altering decision, what's it gonna be? I want to really impress the GMs. Give me Drew McIntyre. All right, we'll make it happen. Good luck, kid. Wait, we almost forgot the best part. There's a little surprise waiting in your locker. Oh, you mean his custom gear we made for him? Well, now that the cat's out of the bag, remember your first day when you designed your wrestling attire? Well, we figured it might help your chances if the GMs could see how you'd really look in WWE. Unless you'd rather stick with your plain old boring training gear. Uh, no. I think I'm gonna go with my custom look. Thanks, guys.
Just a heads up, I wouldn't get all worked up about this PC showcase, since the GMs are really only coming to scout me. That's not what I've heard. Who are you gonna face anyway? Taking on the mascot. I'll dominate him. And show the GMs what they've been missing out on. Wait, so you're not even facing one of the visiting superstars? <laughs> Sounds like someone is scared to lose in front of the GMs. It's called being smart and putting myself in the best position to succeed. Maybe you should try it sometime. But good luck getting a contract with whatever half-baked decision you made. I am so jacked for this PC showcase. I had a dream last night that I beat Paragon and was signed by Mandy Rose to Raw. Then the dream got crazy, uh, but we don't need to get into that. You beating Paragon and getting signed to Raw wasn't the crazy part. Oh, no way, man. I can do this. I step up my game when the pressure's on. And besides, all I need is one shot. Well, I admire your confidence. And I hope it works out that way. Maybe we'll end up on the same show. <laughs> That'd be sweet. Could even ride together. Live together, work out together, eat together. I know, we could do a lot of things together. All right, well, good luck in your match. I'm gonna go buy a new suit to impress the GMs, specifically Mandy Rose. If our real life connection is anything like it was in my dream, there's gonna be fireworks when we meet. Uh, not literally like pyro or anything. I mean like the romance. Yeah, I get it, Chase. Good luck with all that.
I've heard a lot about you, and you didn't disappoint with your win over Drew McIntyre today. With that being said, I'd like to offer you the opportunity to sign with NXT. This is a big decision, and I need to think it over. That's fine, but you don't have a lot of time. Weigh your options and get back to me. The fact that you had the courage to not only face an opponent like Drew McIntyre, but then beat him, really proved what kind of competitor you are. That's why I'd like to offer you a SmackDown contract. This is a big decision. I get that. I wasn't planning on making any acquisitions today, but after what you did against Drew McIntyre, I'm impressed. So I want to offer you the best opportunity you're going to get, a chance to sign with Raw. This is a big decision. Don't play games with me. The fact that you had the courage to not only face him. There have been so many great moments and matches on SmackDown over the years and I look forward to continuing its legacy. All right, easiest contract negotiation ever. Well, we do need to talk money still. Don't worry, you'll be taken care of. Congratulations, you've earned it. You're looking at the Blue Brand's newest superstar. It took longer than it should have, but finally, I'm gonna show the WWE Universe what the rest of the world already knows. When it comes to wrestling, I am the Paragon. Good for you. I'm gonna do the same thing, but without the lame nickname. Wait, are you saying you got signed to SmackDown too? Yeah, what's the matter? Scared you'll be facing me now? No, but I guess every brand